Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to Gran Turismo 7's License Center. We are going to attempt to... I don't know if we're going to gold star, if we're going to um, gold medal or, or just try to get our best times here. But I'm going to try to get... Try to, try to get golds here and hopefully I won't lose too much of my sanity. So... Let's uh, start off with S1 with the Aventador LP 750-4 SV 2015. Not the high speed ring. So I imagine that the majority of this content is probably going to be just uh, a montage or highlights of me swearing. So uh, please enjoy whatever comes next. So with my first attempt, I got a 116 and to get gold is a 112 or lower. Oh... How do I shave off six seconds? Oh my god. <laughs> ah, that's right. So yeah, uh, starting out low in that little area is not a good plan, so I actually probably should follow the ghost slightly. Oh, this is sketch. Oh. Goodbye. Ouch. That's kind of weird because, like, you don't all go all the way up on the top of the banked corner. Like, you can tell the ghost kind of comes down a little bit. Like, yeah, down here. And see, able to keep that speed up. Ah, I think we're actually gaining a little bit on them. Oh, they're already breaking. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Part of me feels like I should have done a test run. No, oh. like slow as possible just to see what the general line is going to be where certain breaking points are going to be because this is going to be a long video otherwise I knew better why did I do that so they kind of dip down lower here okay nice kept it I don't know I'm going to break here how? I'm braking in a straight line. Why is the rear end going loose on an all-wheel drive car? Steady. Oh, that's really... Okay, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Break in a straight line. Don't hit the grass. Nice and smooth. Okay, okay. Looks like we're gaining on our, on our ghost here. Oh, that was some oversteer, but we're somehow still alive. <laughs> They're breaking probably earlier than that. <sighs> that was so good! We're getting somewhere! Oh! Oh, that was close. <laughs> I've lost some significant time here already. I'm to the point, if I can even finish, I will be in a very good mood. So this game has done a very good job of, of showing how much power this vehicle has and how at times uncontrollable it is. I'm like drifting through this corner. <laughs> yeah, and the ghost just took off. Goodbye. Silver! Woo! <laughs> how do I... How do I take two seconds off? By getting good, probably. God. Suck at this. Whoa. I get so close to that edge. Oh, I hit the grass again. I deserve that. 200. Yeah. I am so glad I am in a simulation because every time I crash, that is a 
nearly $400,000 vehicle, I am just rowing into a wall. I think after the third crash, they would have probably arrested me. Here, just, just put the handcuffs on. I mean, I guess it was better, but it felt worse about it. I am s Yep. Oh, <laughs> that oversteer was trying to kill me there. 113.7. Thirteen one. All right. That banked corner and that exit was better, but I don't think I beat a twelve five. Yeah, twelve six. And I think the other problem that I'm having too is I'm just losing a little bit of time here, a little bit of time there, a little bit of time here, and I'm trying to think of a good quick fix to fix all of it. And it's like, no, you just got to hit every line perfect. You got to hit every braking point perfect. You got to keep your tires at a certain heat to keep that grip up everywhere. There isn't a quick fix to a good lap time. It's just a series of good... A series of good choices, I guess. I really need to, like, stay away from that grass spot. Jesus. Lost a lot of time there. Look at that gap there. It's pretty... Yep. You have fun doing whatever you want to do. Yeah. I still had so many spots that I oversteered in. Yeah. Going backwards. Ah! The rest of it was fine. So that was wide, but apparently it closed up some pretty good time. Oh, I technically touched! Ha! Ah. <laughs> I heard the little tink. <laughs> Oh, but that was so much better. We're getting close. I feel it. We're getting really freaking close. Ha! Oh, man. Came out in front of him. Jeez. I've never been so on top of the ghost before. Ah, so close. <sighs> Apparently that one horseshoe corner is where a lot of time can be made. That's where a lot of the ghost's mistakes were. Oh, that is really cool to see, though. That's pretty deep, though. Ha! Ah. If it works, it works. I 
I think the ghost goes down to second gear too, so that's wild to see. Oh, that's such a good exit! Wow! <laughs> oh, man. I think you do got to lift off a little bit to get a good entrance into this area. Don't oversteer. Oh, this is close. Yes! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. That was like a solid second that I just shaved off there. Oh. <sighs> I can't do another one. I'm sorry. I, I got that one. I, I gotta be done. <laughs> and that I was expecting incremental changes. That was like the last time I did it, that was like a 12.5. And then when I did it again, it was just like 11.7. I think it was just from the standpoint that like those those last couple of times, I think I was in, I was really close. I was basically on the money. But I just wasn't able to finish it because I kept on hitting that last corner, but... Man, that makes me super happy to see. Wow. And next time, I get to do my favorite track with uh, one of the uh, favorite childhood cars. Uh, it's... It still holds a special place in my heart because Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2 was a thing. But uh, we will have some fun next time with... The Ferrari F50 in Monza. So again, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more of these license tests. Maybe we'll do a couple more in the coming future here. But of course, uh, you know, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day today. Take care. Bye.